Hello, and welcome back to more Junk Jack. I played a bit off camera since the last episode, and so I'm going to walk through my base and just kind of open my chest so you can see what I've got. I've also got some stuff in my inventory, but basically I'd recorded the first five episodes before any of it aired because I was just kind of like having some fun with the game, but also trying to decide if the game was you know worth playing if whatever i was recording was watchable um and it seems okay and now the episodes the first three i think have aired and yeah it kind of has mixed reviews among uh, viewers which is kind of about how i feel about this game but yeah one of the things i do like about the game so far is just that it's kind of there's more to explore and I have no idea you know what there is going to be and isn't going to be and as a result there's kind of no pressure like <laughs> I don't even know if there are bosses in this game and so yeah I'm not in the you know a hurry to try to fight one if there is and I don't know I haven't explored up into the sky is there anything up in the sky I have no idea at some point we should take a look and is there a bottom of the world I don't know that either uh, and I don't know how long yeah it will take to discover all of these things but in any case, I did do some work off camera because I did feel like things were going pretty slowly and the last couple of episodes have been a little bit samey. We had discovered, um, where's the key right? Uh, we had discovered that the world does circle around kind of in the left, right, east, west direction. And so I managed to kind of circumnavigate the entire world. And so we at least have the top portion of the world on our map now. And so you can see yeah, going all the way around in a circle that it goes like that. Um, but I did some exploring off camera in order to just find some more recipes and I found the one that I wanted the most as well as a few others. So let's see what I got. Crafting note nail basically tells you that you can make nails out of bars, which is something I think I already knew how to do maybe or something. I think possibly you find some of like the original recipes that you start with as well as other recipes or maybe I'm misremembering. Dyed shirts, I guess is things like, yeah, the blue shirt, fancy, brown pants, fancy that I started out with with character creation. And so if we had a dyeing machine, we would be able to take a white shirt and black dye and combine them. And I think the dyes possibly come from like the flower petals, like I'm growing some flowers down here in the bottom of my little farm area. So that's interesting. Metal pickaxes, this is the big one. And so I finally know how to make, for example, a, where's iron? I guess it's on the second page, iron pickaxe. And I have a bit of iron and so, oops, Looking at the wrong one, three ingots of iron and two sticks, or sorry, two wooden planks will allow me to craft an iron pickaxe. And so I can make my own iron pickaxes now, and that will allow me to dig through some blocks that I couldn't dig through before. So that is going to be a big improvement to things, both in terms of moving faster and also being able to go kind of deeper into places that we weren't able to go before. And small bombs is something that I didn't even know was craftable, and I haven't opened this up yet, so let's take a look. I would need paper which I think I can make out of this papyrus stuff maybe, or maybe I was just speculating about that. Uh, fuse, looks like something you might be able to make out of spider string, but I'm not sure about that. And gunpowder, I can't remember if I have any gunpowder. We'll make these small bombs. Can I right click on these or left click on these to find out? I think maybe if you do know the recipe for those things, it will show you the recipe if you click on them. But I think maybe since they're all red, they're all things I don't know the recipe for, maybe? I think. I don't know. I need to learn more about the crafting system of this game with the basic crafting that I've got going on. But in any case, I can make iron pickaxes now, so I'm going to make some of those and we will head back downstairs and see if we can explore even deeper than we have before. Oh, before I head downstairs, I forgot. I had a couple other things in my inventory. Rib cage and a brain are things... I think I got the brain from killing some monster downstairs and the rib cage. I don't remember. But those are some monster drops that I have not gotten before. And so I guess I will just kind of leave them in this chest over here and eventually we'll figure out what to do with them as well. It's also the case that after making some iron pickaxes, I still have 40 some odd iron. And so it's probably time that I finally make myself some armor because I think I've mentioned the fact that armor in this game does not take durability damage. And so once you make the armor, you kind of like just seem to have it forever as far as I can tell. And again, I don't have a good sense of how much protection it adds, uh, but we will go ahead and craft it. Like it has these different numbers, but I'm not sure if it's like, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what the 7% and different things mean. 
uh, for these different values, but presumably this will help me uh, die less downstairs. And so I'll go ahead and make myself a full set of armor. And to equip the armor, I can just go over and click this, which gives me the actual armor slots as opposed to the social slots on my character. And I can go ahead and put these in all of these slots like that. And yeah, now I look like the super armored guy, ready for action. Ha ha! All right, I've gone down to the kind of deepest part of the map, kind of down near the bottom of my mine shaft. Here were some examples of blocks where I needed a stronger tool to break it. And so if I use my iron pickaxe, sure enough, I can actually break through these blocks. And I hear some things. Oops, hello, bat. <laughs> Go away, bat. <laughs> All right, combat in this game. I need to get used to it again. Haven't played in a while. Here we go. Okay, there's another bat. Ouch. All right. And I brought myself a whole bunch of potatoes. And so I can eat some delicious potatoes to heal back up a bit. Let's try to place a torch in order to see what we're getting into down here. Ooh. Right. Explosions. Ooh. There's like some things on the ground over here, it looks like. I see. Those were just blocks. And that is a pot. Got it. <laughs> Man, you step away from the game for a few days. Uh, but we'd heard explosions down here before. There were arrows in that pot. I crafted a bunch, a bunch of arrows, so I have plenty of arrows to fire at bad guys that we encountered down here. Um, yeah, we'd heard explosions down here before. And so it'll be interesting to see what is causing those. Can I actually... Okay, that doesn't quite work. Let's do... <laughs> I want to be not in the water. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and... I can't put it there now because there's this little animal. Hello, little creature. You need to die so I can place a block here. Okay, so after I place the block, I can dig it out. And now, can I dig this with an oral pickaxe? It seems like it is. Is that bronze? What is that? Uh, copper. Okay, great. So, heard some crazy explosions. And so I guess I will just continue continue digging down. I'm going to try to use up my stone pickaxes whenever I can. Uh, okay, there's another explosion. I can see the screen shaking, even if I didn't hear that one. Yeah, I'm going to try to use up my uh, stone tools when possible. And then eventually we'll get to using kind of all iron pickaxes, I suppose. I can't tell if it's to the left or to the right. I presume it's still deeper than me. Whatever is the source of these explosions. All right, I found my... Ooh, I just heard a hissing sound. Okay, so there was something that was like setting off TNT, it sounded like. Found some monsters down here. And let's see. That does so much damage. How much damage does the spear do in comparison? Yeah, this guy just has a lot of health and any weapons that I'm going to use, it seems like, are going to take a lot of hits to kill this big purple slime, who's then going to break up into smaller purple slimes. Is he purple? Hopefully. Oh, let's see. What color is that? Blue. Apparently that was a blue slime. And despite the fact that I hear exciting explosions going off all over the place, I am first going to take my time <laughs> and go up here and check out what's inside this little crate. Because it could be new and exciting recipes that'll help us build new things. Okay, need a stronger tool. I wonder, can I use an iron pickaxe? Yes, apparently I can on that. And what did I just pick up? Um, I don't know that I picked up anything interesting from that, actually. All right, but definitely over to the left and possibly down. I was getting closer to the source of the explosions. And so I'm going to keep moving in this direction. I hear lots of exciting noises, but I'm also finding lots of crates in the wall. And so I'm still focused on the crates. Okay, I need a stronger tool for that. Can a hammer do that? No, okay. So let's try the iron pickaxe again. Okay, that does break it open. Ooh, I got a new recipe. Doors. Interesting. Reinforced door. Takes wood boards, iron, and nails. And makes a reinforced door. Interesting. And you can do that at a workbench. That sounds interesting. All right. Something to look forward to. Hearing lots of explosions inside here. It looks like just kind of nails and some other things. And a recipe for metal shovels. Hey! So we could dig faster. Neat. And so an iron shovel. Oops, that's not what I was looking for. 
Uh, titanium shovel. Where's an iron shovel? Silver shovel. Silver pickaxe. Iron shovel. There we go. Okay, just exactly what you expect the recipe to be. Great. Yes, and if I right-click on iron, I do know how to make iron, and it tells me take the forge and an iron lump, and that's how you make an iron ingot. Okay, so you can look at ingredients from recipes in order to kind of like figure out where you get those ingredients from. Ooh, and is that a diamond over there? I think it is. And from what I know from playing this game earlier, if you can break the stone, it's inside. Yeah, we can get the diamond that way. Okay, so we're deep enough to get diamonds, and I see some kind of new block uh, just over here. Okay, it doesn't tell me that I need a stronger pick. I just can't seem to break that. I think that's like the equivalent of bedrock, maybe? Let's put some stuff down here. It looks like there's just a little spider down here, and he's the only actual enemy enemy. I can probably kill him if he jumps back down here. There we go. There we go. Okay, so the spider's down. This is just a little critter that isn't going to hurt me. But I'll go ahead and kill him anyway. And still hearing all kinds of noises. Yep, and there's some more explosion noises somewhere. Okay, so it must be deeper down. So I'm going to continue digging like straight down for a little bit and see if I can figure out what the source of these explosion noises is. Okay, well, I'm not hearing the explosions anymore, but there is at least still something new down here. Oh, it's just a little red slime. Hello. Oh, I'm curious to see. Yeah, I've taken a few hits from him, and I'm not taking many. I'm only taking like two and three hit points uh, each time I get hit. And so I presume that that's as a result of having better armor now that I seem to be taking less damage. I hear... I'm still not sure if, like, audio is directional in this game. I think I hear a monster to the left. And so I'm going to move a little bit to the left. Ooh, do you see that? There's a crate in the background right here. Oh, and there's a crate over here, too. Okay, there's that crazy enemy. Can I break this? No, I need a better pickaxe. So let's break the crate in the background. Got some ladders, that's nice. I don't think I got any new recipes though. I brought uh, throwing knives along and at some point I might try using them as a weapon. But right here, this guy seems susceptible to bow and arrow, so I'll just use that to finish him off. Looks like he dropped a healing potion for 2.25. Uh, that's pretty nice. I'm only down like one and a half right now. I'm gonna eat some potatoes. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> They're delicious. I think I've mentioned many times that I am very fond of potatoes in real life. As well as in games like Junk Jack. Alright, and I need a stronger pickaxe, so let's break this open. Alright, I really like the fact that we're finding lots of crates down here at this level, because pomegranate seeds. Pomegranate is, uh, is something else that's yummy that I don't have very often. So pomegranate turns into pomegranate seeds. Alright. Fascinating. Can convert that in my bare hands if I ever manage to get my hands on a pomegranate. So yeah, it seems like there's a lot of a lot of food and decorative items in this game, kind of like Terraria in that respect. Okay, on the zoomed out map, I can see red areas, so presumably that's lava. So it seems like we're getting down to kind of a new layer in terms of little lava caverns opening up. I presume lava is going to damage me if I fall in it, so I will try not to do that. And I imagine it will behave like a liquid. I think I encountered it in my previous playthrough, but uh, I didn't really experiment with it at all, and so we'll have to do some science to learn what lava is like in this game. Alright, so let's put some torch light out. Okay, there's another chest. That's great. Um, okay, I can see the lava just on the bottom left-hand side of the screen over there, it seems like. Seems like something dropped some arrows over there. I'll go ahead and hop down here. Can I place a torch? Right there. Oh gosh, look at all the enemies that stacked up right here. Um, this could be, although they're going to drop into another cavern. I think I'll just use the bow and arrow to try to take most of these guys out. I was going to say, it could be a good opportunity to use a bomb and hit multiple guys at once with some splash damage. But I think the bomb will also blow up the kind of rocks they're standing on and I want to be able to collect all the drops from these guys, and since I seem to be up a too high ledge that they can't jump up, I can just sit here and pelt them with arrows for a bit. Alright, that was definitely an instance in this game where combat was extremely underwhelming and tedious, but I got the job done. I uh, heard another crazy... Oh, there's a bat. Almost didn't see him against the dark background. Hey, bat. Alright, in this little narrow... Tunnel. It'll be very easy to kill you with the sword. Hooray. 
Heard another explosion. Okay, it doesn't seem to be anything up here. Uh, there's definitely kind of lava-y stuff over here, and it looks like there might be something down here as well. Ooh! Okay, that's a slime that has, like, TNT coming out of him. And I think, okay, and there's still explosions going off in the distance. I think I actually saw one of those in my previous playthrough, and I think it behaves the way you'd expect, which is if I kill it, it explodes. Yeah! Just like that. Oh, and I think it dropped gunpowder. Gunpowder, neat. And what is this? Yellow King Slime Heart is a reagent. Wow. King Slime. Fascinating. And what is this? Stone Essence Reagent? I'm getting all kinds of new items. That's pretty exciting. Oh, I forgot to use my throwing knives when I was attacking all those bad guys. I brought them along so that I would use them and I forgot about it. Okay, we got some lava over here. Oh, there's so much going on all of a sudden. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, let's eat a couple of potatoes to just kind of top off my health while I happen to be thinking of it. And let's go ahead and I believe I can break this open with a hammer. So let's break this open and see what we get. Ooh, looks like it's got some nice stuff. Bread is a food. More daggers. I had some of these at home. They're another throwing weapon, I believe. A potion of climb slash jump movement. Fascinating. All right. Starting to stack up a bunch of potions at home. At some point, we'll play around with them, but I uh, haven't gotten far enough to really try that out yet. And yes, I guess the first thing we'll do is... Okay, I can't break that with this pickaxe, so we'll use this pickaxe. First thing we'll do is we'll go over to the lava and try to dig around it and see if it seems to flow like liquid, kind of like water has in this game. And so, hmm, what's going to be the easiest way to do that? Actually, I guess if I stand here, let's do this carefully, and then break a block here. Oops, wrong pickaxe. Yes, so lava does appear to flow. Next question is... Can I just block over it? Yes. So it does appear that I can remove the lava uh, just by doing things like that. Okay. I don't see any enemies kind of spawned in the lava. It seems to give off some kind of reddish glowing lights. Ooh, I think there's like some diamonds or something down here. Oh, and I hear more explosions. It sounds like they might be just over to the right near that lava, perhaps. Oh, and I see some more ore just below me over here, too. So many things. Ooh, I think that's a new... Is that diamonds? That might be diamonds. I think possibly I saw the explosions, like, just below me. Oh, crap. Hey, you go away. You're bad. Uh, he dealt a lot of damage, actually. So let's be careful. I'll eat some potatoes in a moment. Okay, I can finish you off with arrows. Great, you dropped a bunch of things. Um, let's go ahead and eat the bread, just to get it out of my inventory, and then a couple of potatoes. That'll heal me back up. Got a bone. I have a few of those at home, which is another reagent. Uh, right here, I think that's more diamonds just in the background. No, I think that's something new. Emeralds. Okay, there's emeralds in this game. I don't know what you do. Oh, I definitely saw an explosion, like, right over here. Oh, look at this! It's like a skeleton holding a piece of dynamite or something. Can I kill you? Looks like it. Oh, he threw a piece. Oh! So he throws them, and whatever rocks these are, are strong enough that they don't blow up. Interesting. So it's like a explosive explosion-throwing enemy. Seems like if you managed to, like, trap one of these upstairs, it would be a very useful enemy for, like, digging a tunnel or something. I wonder if when I kill him, he explodes or if he's going to drop any explosives. I will use my standard bow and arrow strategy. Unfortunately, that was right at the same time that something else was blowing up. What did I get here? Beast hide? Um, I think I already had these two small bombs in my inventory, so I don't think he actually dropped any more. Okay, but that explains the source of the explosion noises. Where am I in the map right now? I'm down here. I think I'm going to try to, like, dig a tunnel kind of right above this lava, perhaps. 
yeah, and explore a little bit more along along this kind of uh, height level of the map. Well, almost immediately I encounter, I believe that's more emeralds. So I'm happy to see those. Hopefully we will find a use for them. But in the meantime, I'm happy to accumulate them. Hey, I see something. I'm not sure what it is. I just broke something and got a painting. Painting six object. Presumably I can put that on the wall somewhere, I guess. And it seems like we're breaking into another, I don't know, like one of these underground rooms that has furniture and different things. I'm not sure exactly what to call it. And let's see, I've been meaning to try out uh, the throwing knives. So let me go ahead and get them on the bar just so I can get a sense of, okay, in a narrow tunnel. Ooh, they do a lot of damage though. Yeah, that was actually pretty effective. Okay, that's good. Glad I bought them along. Got some lime green goo. Prison bricks. So is this a prison? Perhaps? It's definitely spooky looking. Let's place a block of ground. Oh, crap. Hello. Uh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay. Actually, you don't hurt all that much. And I think actually bow and arrow seems to work against these undead enemies. Yeah, the skeleton guys seem to take a lot of bow and arrow. I don't know if that's like piercing damage or something. So I'll continue to use that. It seems like there's some kind of awesome glowing blue torch over here. Um, I can step up here. Looks like that might be some iron maybe over there. And so I'm curious to know, okay, I can't break those with a lesser pickaxe, with a stone pickaxe. And I think that is the prison brick. Yes, so this is called prison bricks. And so I guess those are like prison like iron bars directly above me over here. I'm gonna try to dig them up and see if that's like a uh, thing that we can recover. Looks like it. Wall jail decoration, okay. And then I'm gonna try to get up to these ores. So the ore that's up here will be iron indeed. Okay, so that's good because it's gonna help replenish my iron now that I'm making iron pickaxes. I expect I'll go through a fair bit of iron. And I think this is also some iron right over here. And then I think I heard another enemy moving around to the right, possibly a little bit above me. So maybe I'll try to get through the wall over here and see if I can find that. Okay, there's some open space over here. I'm trying to use up my stone pickaxe whenever I have the opportunity. This slime looks like he has a skeleton inside him that looks kind of like that rib cage thing that I got uh, at some point. And so I wonder if uh, he's going to drop a rib cage. I'm trying to see if I have any uh, consumable food things. My inventory is getting awfully full here uh, that I could use up. Uh, I don't need that much healing. So I guess I'll just continue munching on my potatoes in order to heal up. And perhaps I'll end up freeing up that inventory slot after taking a bunch more damage with this guy. Okay, he did not drop a rib cage, but it definitely looked like he had like a rib cage inside him. So I think that is a possibility. And yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and heal up again with some potatoes. And it looks like there might be another opening right over here. Yes. How big is it? Oh, it's big and filled with bad guys. Awesome. Okay, let's see. I see some end undead bad guys, and the arrows seem to work well against them. So how many arrows do I have? Yeah, still 200. I crafted a whole bunch before we left. Actually, this is a good place to use a bomb, probably. So let's try that out. Let me get... Um, yeah, let me get throwing bombs on the bar. Oops, hello. Okay. Okay, this is actually a good place to fight the slimes because he jumps up and can't get kind of underneath the hallway. Okay, he broke into smaller slimes. Once again, did not appear to drop the uh, rib cage thingy. All right, bombs. If I throw it down here, okay, it's not going to hit them because I didn't aim very well. It blew up the uh, crate. There we go. Okay, that did a fair amount of damage to those enemies. Softened them up. Oh, here comes a bat. Hello, bat. Can I hit you with arrows? How do you do with arrows? More enemies. Okay, everything is spawning over there. <laughs> In the darkness, just over to the right. Okay, bat's gone. Oh, gosh, more guys. More guys! Guys everywhere! Uh, can I throw a bomb like that? Um, how about like that? 
There we go. Oh man. A bunch of guys over here take take a lot of damage. Um, can I place right? I forgot about the fact that I can place torches really far away. Let's place torches over there so that it is not so dark. So I don't think anything else can spawn. And then let's try the throwing daggers. Yeah, okay. Throwing daggers are really good against slimes. I think is what I just learned. How do they work? I can't seem to hit this guy. Okay, I don't think he's... Yeah, he seems to be well armored against throwing daggers. So let's try the bow and arrow against him. Bow and arrow seems okay. I mean, it's obviously he's wearing like some kind of copper armor or something, but I think the arrows were doing better than the whatever against him, than the throwing daggers. Okay, <laughs> that was kind of the most combat I've had to do. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff on the ground here that I can't quite pick up, so let me decide if there are things I want to drop. Yeah, I'll head home and see where we're at for today. I made it back home safely. I'm curious to see if I do a quick stack. Did I get any new colors of slime? It doesn't look like I did, so perhaps there's just these nine colors. And I would previously found one diamond, but we have two more of those, as well as an emerald in terms of precious resources, so that is pretty cool. And we also have gunpowder, which I guess I'll put with, don't I have like fancy monster drops somewhere over here? I have a new potion, which I'm going to drop in here, and I can quick stack my other potions, which I have in here right now. Where do I have other monster drops? I see, I guess this was kind of both monster drops and also friendly animal drops, and so I'll probably end up breaking these up and add the gunpowder and the slime heart to the monster drops. I was making another chest for some of these kind of decorative bricks, but I have painting six, and so I'm curious, can I place it on the wall? Like, I wonder how big it is. There it is on the wall, and I don't know, I guess it's just decorative painting. I think I'll leave it up there for now. Mm. Also got this stone essence, which I think I got from killing somebody, and so I guess I'll put it with monster drops, although I'm not really sure. I think I'll probably end it there for today. I'm not exactly sure what we accomplished today. We definitely, we found some new things underground, uh, some new explosive enemies, as well as lava. I'm pretty sure there's a way to make a bucket, but I don't know the recipe for it yet. So we might be able to get lava in a bucket at some point in the future, which would be pretty cool. And, but I, once again, I'll probably do some exploring off camera uh, and just try to capture any interesting bits as I try to advance a little bit more um, and see if I can get a few more recipes. Like if I could get some iron weapons, that would probably also help out a whole lot. So I'm not just using the bow and arrow to try to kill everything, or maybe I can figure out, you know, recipes in order to actually craft throwing daggers and different things like that. That would be really helpful, I think. But in any case, I hope as always that you guys are having a great day and I will see you again soon with some more Junk Jack. Bye-bye.